I think the court now is as strong as it ever has been. And stronger by far than it was in the mid-70s when the court was racked by scandal. Two justices resigned while the legislature was investigating them. Justice Joe Boyd also was investigated, but he hung on to his seat, insisting he had ripped an improper memo he received into 17 equal pieces and flushed it down the toilet. The uh, fact that I said it was 17 equal parts was a carefully intended comment because if you tear something into seven and equal parts, you're certainly not going to be using it yourself. So uh, I've studied a little psychology. Boyd himself was studied a little by psychologists after that episode. He was forced into taking a sanity examination, which he passed. He boasted in his next election that he was the only person on the court who had been certified sane. Boyd kept his seat, but his colleagues three times denied him a term as chief justice. Finally, in 1984, he got the job and a measure of vindication. Yeah, Chief Justice Boyd has thrown himself into his job with such energy and has, uh, has cared so much about the whole court system that I think he's contributing uh, 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 very, very greatly to this. Justice Adkins finally convinced the court to elect Boyd chief. When they uh, passed over Justice Boyd, uh, it uh, bothered me because from that moment on, uh, some of the justices go around and politic for chief justice, and I think that's extremely inappropriate. I've never done it, and uh, I don't think it's appropriate for anyone else to do it.